In this video, we'll be covering everything you need to know for arts and culture. If you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And if you'd like to learn more about my full Life in the UK test course, head to uklifeprep.com, link in the description below. Let's jump in. The UK's history and present is rich in arts and culture, spanning music, visual arts and literature. Looking at music first. The Proms is a famous eight-week summer season of classical music organised by the BBC. There are many famous outdoor festivals in the United Kingdom, such as Glastonbury, Isle of Wight and Creamfields. Two important awards which recognise people's contribution to music include the Mercury Prize, which is awarded each year for the best album in the UK and Ireland, and the Brit Awards, which is an annual awards event which covers a range of categories. Things I'd remember from this section would be what the proms is, the names of some music festivals, and the two different musical prizes. Looking at some typical questions, the first question reads, what is the proms? The correct answer is, an eight-week summer season of orchestral classical music. The next question reads, which two of the following are major outdoor music festivals? From the available options, the correct answers are the Isle of Wight Festival and Glastonbury. The official guide does list some important musicians and their works. Questions on these are typically very rare, so I wouldn't worry too much about them. However, if you do want to be super prepared, then I do suggest remembering the names and their works. But as I say, questions are typically very rare. Moving on to theatre. Theatre land is an area in London's West End, where many theatres can be located. Here we can see a picture of the West End, with the different theatres showcasing the different productions they have on. Gilbert and Sullivan are famous for writing comic operas, which often made fun of popular culture and politics. An important British tradition is the pantomime, where many theatres will showcase fairy stories which are light-hearted plays during Christmas time. An important festival which showcases a range of theatre from across the country is the Edinburgh Fringe Festival. The Lawrence Oliver Awards is an annual award for a variety of theatre categories. Things I don't remember from this section would be what theatre land is, what Gilbert and Sullivan are famous for writing, what a pantomime is, and what the Edinburgh Fringe Festival is. Looking at some typical questions, the first question reads, where is theatre land? We saw that this was in London's West End. The next question reads, when are pantomime productions staged in theatres? The correct answer is Christmas. The UK also has a rich art culture. Some famous London galleries include the National Gallery, Tate Britain, and Tate Modern. The Turner Prize is an annual award for contemporary art at the Tate Britain. Things I'd remember from this section would be the names of some of London's famous art galleries and what the Turner Prize is. Looking at some typical questions, the question reads, what is the Turner Prize? We saw that this was a contemporary art award. The next question reads, Tate Britain is an art gallery, true or false? We saw that this was true. The official guide also lists a whole bunch of famous artists as well as some of the works they're known for. Similar to the musicians, questions on these are also typically rare. However, if you do want to cover all your bases, I would suggest learning the names of all the artists and what they're known for. The UK also has a rich history of architecture. A very famous style of architecture is known as the Gothic style. And there are many buildings in the UK, specifically in London, which can be seen in this style, including the Houses of Parliament and St Pancreas Station. Here we can see the Houses of Parliament and St Pancreas Station, which have a very similar style known as Gothic style. Sir Edward Lutyens is a famous British architect who designed the New Delhi seat in India, as well as Cenotaph in Whitehall. Here we can see Cenotaph, which is a war memorial located in Whitehall in London. The Chelsea Flower Show showcases garden design from Britain and around the world. Things I'd remember from this section would be two famous buildings built in Gothic style and who designed Cenotaph and where it's located. Looking at a typical question, the question reads, who designed the Cenotaph? We saw that this was Sir Edward Lutyens. The next question reads, which two famous London buildings are built in Gothic style? We saw that this was the Houses of Parliament and St Pancreas Station. The official guide also lists some fashion and designers. I provided a table here of them and what they're known for. Questions on these are also typically rare. However, if you do want to cover all bases, I would suggest you know their name and what they're known for. 
Several British writers have been awarded the Nobel Prize in Literature. The Man Booker Prize is a prize for the best fiction novel by an author from the Commonwealth Island or Zimbabwe. Things I'd remember from this section would be that British writers have won the Nobel Prize and what the Man Booker Prize is. Looking at a typical question, the first question reads, several British writers have won the Nobel Prize in Literature. True or false? We saw that this was true. The next question reads, the Man Booker Prize is awarded in which of the following categories? We saw that this was literature. The official guide also lists a whole bunch of writers and poets, as well as each of their famous works. I suggest pausing the video and looking at the names and what they're known for for the writers, as well as the poets. Questions about famous writers and poets are more common, so I would suggest remembering the names of these writers and what they are famous for. If you're really pressed for time, I would pay special attention to the following writers. Jane Austen, Charles Dickens, J.K. Rowling, and J.R.R. Tolkien. Looking at some typical questions, the first question reads, Jane Austen and Charles Dickens are famous writers. True or false? We saw that this is true. The next question reads, which two of the following are famous British authors? From the list, the correct answers are Sir Arthur Conan Doyle and J.K. Rowling. The next question reads, what is the name of a novel by Jane Austen? From the list provided, the correct answer is Sense and Sensibility. The final question reads, William Blake, Lord Byron and Robert Browning were all famous athletes. This is false. These people were all famous poets. Hi there, my name is Dan and I hope you enjoyed watching. I've posted this video for free on YouTube and if you've liked what you've seen and want to access my full Life in the UK test course, then head to uklifeprep.com, link in the description below. In my course, I've completely stripped down the official guide and cut away all the nonsense to focus on what you actually need to know for the questions that are actually asked. Having prepared for the test myself, I know firsthand how painful it is going through 150 pages of dense facts and not having a clue the types of questions you'll get asked. I've used my 10 plus years of experience in online education to build an easy to follow online course that promises to get you 100% ready in the shortest amount of time possible. To show your support and get updates on any new videos I release, please subscribe to my channel by clicking here. And to watch more free videos that I have posted on YouTube, click the playlist here. I look forward to learning with you and wish you the best of luck in the test.